Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to do something really interesting. We are going to add the right, the correct note dots on the correct notes on the corresponding fret uh, on the fretboard. So let's get started doing that. But before we get started doing that, I just noticed because I made the, the browser window a little bit uh, uh, smaller here. So if I slide to the right here, you can see this doesn't really look that good. And I can fix that by here on the fretboard in our CSS just by giving it a minimum width. So let's give it a minimum width of, I think, around 1,500 pixels. We'll take care of it. Okay, let's see if that works. But that is totally unrelated to, um, to what we're going to do in this video. Because um, we don't want to have only D flats on this uh, fretboard. I am going to remove the dots by setting the opacity to zero before we begin. Um, let's go back to our app.js file. And um, in order to find out the correct notes on the different strings, we need to tell the program at least something about uh, what kind of notes it can expect, which order they come in and, and things like that. So it would be a good idea to, to maybe make an array with the names of the notes. And we also have to consider that we have two kinds of uh, notes. We have the ones that includes the flats, and we have the ones that include the sharps. So I think we should make two arrays with uh, with both of those values in it. So I'm going to go const, call it notes flat. I'm going to set that equal to an array. And in that array, I am... I am just going to copy and paste this here. Just like this. And as you can see, it's all of the notes from C to C. So we have 12 values in, in this array. It goes from C, then it's D flat, then it's D, then it's E flat. So it's chromatically all the way up to C. So C would be the next value here. And these are all the flat values. Uh, we're going to need the sharp values as well. So let's try that. So const note sharps. Just note sharp. And we're going to set that equal to uh, something I'm just going to grab and put in here because I'm too lazy to type it out for you guys. Okay, so that is uh, the equivalent just with sharps. So you start from C all the way up to, to a B, but instead of flats, you use sharps. So instead of D flat, you have a C sharp. So instead of an E flat, you have a D sharp, and so on. Um, and that's what, that's the data that we're going to use to populate these uh, note dots with the correct corresponding values. So we should probably also have some sort of way to tell the program if we want to use the flats or the sharps array. So I'm going to make a new variable here. So let's call it accidentals. And I'm just going to set it to a string. And in the beginning, let's just call it flat or flats. We want it to show flats. So this is not going to do anything yet, but... Um, we will pretty soon because how can we make this stuff work because if we take a look at the fretboard right now we set it to have 24 frets but right here we only have 12 nodes for 12 frets so and it doesn't start on like c doesn't this is not a c this is not a c sharp it, it's not like that we have to like on uh on the guitar we want to start with the e and uh, and so forth and um, yeah just populate the values onto the fretboard so how do we do that um, what if we have fret number 13 then we count all the way up here to number 13 and it's empty there's nothing there so one way to do that is to use the remainder operator uh, or modulus operator let me see if I can try to explain this to you in the, in the console uh, first of all I am going to play around with the modulus or the remainder operator and that's um that's a percentage sign like this let me just zoom in a little bit here um so one example is let's say 10 and 5 then we get 0 because 
10 is divisible by 5 two times, so there's no rem remainder. Uh, let's try 10 and let's say 4. Well, 4 and then 8, and then there's two left all the way up to 10. Does that make sense? So you try to you divide something and then you get the, the remainder if there is a remainder. If there's no remainder, you just get zero. So that is what we're going to use to figure out uh, which note we, we're we getting. If we get a number that is bigger than 12, because we only have 12 notes uh, in our array over here. Um, so we're basically going to tell the program that when, you, when you're when you here and you get uh, number 13, then you should start from the top again. Then you start from here. So how can we do that? We can uh, we can like define a note index. So let's try to do that. So let note index equal let's say one, and then I'm gonna take note index and modulus or remainder operator twelve and see what I get. Well, then I would get one. So as long as this number here is less than 12, you will get the number that you actually pass in because it's not divisible. So let's try to change this to, let's try to change this to 2. Then we'll get an error because we're using let. Okay, let me just reload this like this. And then you will get 2. And the same if you pass in 7, you'll get 7. And that makes sense because if you put in an index, it'll count from here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this will be the note that you get. But if you, uh, and, and you can count in like this 1, or 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that would make sense. You would get the note on the seventh position of the, the index number 7 in the array. But um, what if we, let's try 11 here. Not a big surprise, you'll get 11, but what if we type in 12? Then we get 0. And that's pretty cool because that means that when you're here, you actually want to start over here. So you actually, when you get all the way to the end of the array, you want to start over from the top because that's, that's what happens when you, uh, when you go through the first octave. You just repeat the octaves. And you can actually keep going again and again and again. We're probably not going to have a guitar with more than 24 frets. But if you have 36 frets or a million frets, it will still work. So let's try that. So you can see, let's have 13. And then you get 1. So that means it starts from... So instead of here, this next value, it'll go here. So it's kind of like it just goes round and round and round. So I could also go uh, set this to... 453 and I'll get 9. So I know that if I go up 453 times, I would get index number 9 in this array. So that's what we're going to use in our code to get the right note when you're over the 12th fret, when you exceed the first octave on the instrument. Um, so let's try and have a look at this. We have this already. I want to go and create a new method on our app and it looks like it's here. Let's call it generate note names. It's going to take a note index. And it's going to take the accidental that uh, we want to use. Like this. And remember, that's what we set up above before. We haven't yet set the note index, but we will, but we have the accident. So now we're working with the flats, which means that we're going to be working with this one here. Um, inside this method, first, I want to do what we just did in the console before. I want to take the note index that we pass in. So this is the number of the note. It can be anything, any number from, from zero to a million, probably not over 24, because we're probably not going to have more than 24 frets on our guitar. So I'm going to take that. And I'm going to set it equal to note index and this operator and 12 because we have 12 notes. So that's cool. And then I want to check if we selected the flats or the sharp. So let's make a conditional here. So if accidentals 
are equal to flat, then let's do something. Actually, first, before we continue, we want to uh, set a variable for the node name that we're going to return from this function here. And that is the node name that we get from one of these arrays here. So let me just do that first. Let node name. And we're not going to set a value yet. We're going to do that here. So I'm going to take the node name and set that equal to nodes flats, which is this array up here, because that's what we're working with right now. And I'm going to take the index of that, and that will be the index, node index. Okay, does that make sense? And right down here, I'm going to take care of the case if it's not flats, but if it's sharps. So else if accidentals equals sharps. Then what do we want to do? We want to do exactly the same thing, just with the other array. So that will be notes, sharps. And then after this, we want to return the note name. And that should hopefully work. Let's try and go back in our console and play around with this a little bit. So we already have access to it on the app object here. So let's try app and generate node names and let's pass in zero why not and then let's pass in we want to use the flats so that flats like this there's a problem here let me see what this is and that's no wonder because I re I miss name I misspelled this notes flat and notes sharp that's what they're called Let's try and see if that works now. Then we get, we pass in zero, we pass in flat. So the program goes up here and it says, okay, I want the zeroth position in this uh, notes flat array. And that is C. So, so far it, it works. Let's try and pass in, um, let's try and pass in one. That's a D flat. That makes sense as well. So let's try to pass in, we know on the 13th fret, or, or if I pass in 13, let's see what we get. That'll be the same because we have exceeded the, the first octave and then we just keep going and keep going as I explained before. So let's try the 24th fret. That will be a C and that's 23rd. That would probably be the note before that, which is a B. So, uh, so far it works. We can try sharps, and then we also get a B. Let's try 22, Then we get an A sharp. So it's using this one instead. So that is the way we can get the names of the nodes. So I think maybe that's enough for this video. Um, let's continue in the next one by actually hooking it up and finding out how we can because we don't want every single string on an instrument it doesn't go from C to C. We have to tell the program that it has to begin on, on the E string, then the A string, and then the D string, and then the G string, and so on. But I think there's enough to absorb in this lesson. Go and play around with it. Make your own uh, method. Make your own function. Go and play around with it in the console and see if you understand what is going on. And then in the next video, I will show you guys how to actually get the names on the on the fretboard in the note dots that we uh, created already so yeah let's let's find out in the next episode how we do that see you there